And I'm Michael Vera for Late Night in the Midlands and an unfolding investigation. What you're about to hear, my friends, is irrefutable evidence of a conspiracy to defame my good friends, Dr. Leonard Horowitz and investigative journalist Sherry Kane. Involving so-called American patriots and truthers, involving a so-called sex tape, or so it was claimed by those who produced it to discredit the hurricane, you know, two people who I know personally, and again, who are very good friends of mine, and I greatly respect, and is why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. The evidence of the conspiracy in organized internet crime was discovered by myself and Sherry Kane simultaneously, by chance, some would say, but I would say karma or by divine justice. The intriguing audio evidence, the manufacturing of a, quote, sex tape used to blackmail and libel the hurricane for exposing an organized criminal conspiracy that I believe is linked to a bunch of bumbling morons that substantial evidence links to CIA, FBI agents, and agencies that have been persecuting Dr. Horowitz since 2007 simply because he is among the world's leading drug industry and government corruption whistleblowers so what you're about to hear in my opinion evidence is without a doubt again for me a cia fbi national security agency sting previously recognized as cointel pro which is short for counterintelligence program that was supposed to have ended in the mid-1970s with the shock of discoveries of the U.S. Senate, Frank Church Committee's investigations into the dirty tricks and mind control experiments that our own government intelligence agents and agencies use against American citizens to control assumed troublemakers to manage the population at large and every other commercial enterprise the powers that be work to protect and promote. In essence, my friends, what you're about to hear is the fruit of a deception, protection, and extortion racket, a so-called sex tape manufactured and published on the Internet only to blackmail and extort my friends to give up their natural health products and publishing companies. Healthy World Distributing LLC that owns and operates HealthyWorldStore.com and Tetrahedron LLC that has published Dr. Horowitz's 17 books. That's right, 17 books and produced five documentary films exposing, not promoting, exposing the drug cartel for administering genocide under the guise of public health and medical progress. In other words, Horowitz, with Cain by his side, has been getting people off of drugs and environmentally poisoning chemicals. He's been advocating for risk-free, low-cost alternatives in medicine, energy, and environmental science. So, my friends, that is why this evidence of a CIA FBI sting against them is very, very important listening, as is why I am here right now informing you all. Because what you're about to hear exemplifies the dirty tricks this criminal cartel uses to destroy leaders in society and suppress positive advancements for we, the people, not I, not you, we, the people. See, folks, because we all have to come together.
we the people. To give you a bit more background on what you're about to hear, in 2007, immediately following the publication of his book, Love, The Real Da Vinci Code, in which Dr. Horowitz actually revealed the real code by which physics, chemistry, and creation is administered musically and mathematically, creating a revolution in medicine through medicinal music. Made very simply in the frequencies or good vibrations, if you will. Found in nature and, well, the real Da Vinci Code. The doctor was immediately targeted by members of a cyberbullying squad. And boy, have I had my share of that. Best described as COINTELPRO. That is the COINTELPRO gang that many people refer to as trolls on the Internet. And I've done several shows. Go check the archives. You know, I know all about these trolls. I've been tracking them down for a long time. And I'll continue to do it. Some of these people I also know personally because they have attacked me. (laughs) They've come after me to try and destroy my radio show. You see, these people included the late FBI Division 5 director, Ted Gunderson, and his grade C filmmaking propagandist, Anthony Hilder. I see right through you, Anthony. According to Hilder, he and Gunderson established a U.S. patriot community and conspiracy industry. And it would figure why we don't get any truth nowadays. They promote neo-Nazi and Christian right-wing terrorists, blaming Jews for everything except their own protection and extortion rackets. Elma C. Ott calls himself Dr. True Ott. There's nothing, absolutely nothing true about it. He's a fake doctor with multiple personalities, I know. I've dealt with them. I saved the emails. Anybody wants to see them, I'd be glad to share them with you. So this Truat, who is Gunderson's and Hilder's leading propagandist and protection racketeer, infiltrated the natural healing industry, especially to destroy Horowitz and like-minded, successful naturopathic doctors. See, I worked with Greg Szymanski, another radio talk show personality who also goes by the alias of Eric Samuelson. Szymanski and Ott forged a fake Knights of Malta list and distributed it widely on the Internet with the help of Benjamin Fulford and through subordinate agent provocateurs, including Doug Millar, a leading Gunderson child sex trafficking propagandist, Timothy Patrick White, a predicate felon, Alex McGowan Studer, another pedophile promoter, protector, and audio engineer, Don Nikoloff, who infiltrated Dr. Horowitz's companies and stole $2,500 and a record production contract to divert and destroy the doctor's early music investments. And Clay Douglas, at the forefront of neo-Nazi anti-Jewish propaganda, not to forget Ken Adachi, who runs a leading conspiracy website, together through emails and Internet propaganda, which they're very good at, these people brainwashed Dr. Horowitz's ex-wife, according to what I know about Dr. Horowitz's ongoing legal battles in Idaho. And the trolls prompt her to destroy everything that the couple had spent a quarter century building, including Dr. Horowitz's good reputation and humanitarian contributions. The so-called sex tape you're about to hear was fed to the doctor's family, including his children, by these agent provocateurs, including what many judge as the voice 
of Deborah Tavares. Hey, your program is over. Why don't you hang up and let the other one start in? As a so-called truther, an advocate for we the people, who I have had as a guest on my show. So imagine how surprised I was. In a moment, you will hear Tavares' voice identified by Sherry Kane and I. While we were Skyping on the internet, we were discussing this so-called sex tape. Uh, We both typed at the same exact instant our recognition of Tavares' voice on the tape. I mean, it was just crazy. It was like we both did it right at the same time. I had also recognized Tavares' voice from interviews she had done with Power Hour host Joyce Riley. Uh, that is the website where we have uh, many of the breaking news and uh, government documents that we've just revealed in the last couple of weeks. And- Kane recognized her voice from an interview she watched featuring Hilda and Ott. To the best of my knowledge, I have never met uh, Truot in my life. I don't recall meeting Truot in my life. Shelly Kane, uh, or Sherry Kane, or whatever her name is. So uh, many recognitions here. Then uh, Sherry began investigating Tavares and discovered her audio and video productions had been promoting Hilder and Truat's propaganda. This is Trevor Coppola for Anthony J. Hilder. I'm with uh, Deborah Tavares, and we're going to discuss a few topics here. Thank you. With her husband, Lou. Lou, I guess you know who you are, Deborah, and I don't have a last name, and James Bennett. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to speak in support of Mr. Haggerty over here when he mentioned the vote of the people. And I'd like to remind you that California is a constitutional republic. So a vote of the people should be the first option in how this whole thing gets decided. And individuals in the conservative or patriotic world movement are suspects. Maybe Trevar- Barbara Tavares uh, has been one. Um, she's a suspect. And um, all of these individuals uh, are supposed to be the bad guys. Yeah. When you call me on the phone, I never met yes. Anthony until just yesterday. Oh, so this is your yeah. first visit? I, and we've talked on the phone. He's called me when this whole lawsuit of you know, right, insanity came up. But the first time I, I just knew him from his pictures, and I said, when I said hi to you yesterday. And I never, never met seen him or met him. Nor, nor have I ever met Sherry Kane. I, I don't know who she was either. But Have you ever met her? No. No, you haven't. Don't ever want to either, frankly. <laughs> I don't think I'd want She's that She's something else. When she was up there on that panel with, the year before last, and Anthony was up there, it was just, it was unbelievable. Yeah. She and Horowitz sitting up there. I got the I got the DVD sent to me. Oh, you did. Yeah, and I'm just like, holy mackerel. I know. But see, people are smart. They they saw through it, didn't they? Oh yeah. They they saw through the. Finally, somebody and, and gave uh, Brian a note, a letter, and said, "Stop this. We didn't come here." It foul language and and all oh, that. Oh yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was very obvious. Yeah. It was very obvious. By your fruits you shall know them. So that's. Mm-hmm. By your fruits you shall know them. 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 These days, litigation is not a fun thing to get tangled in, though. You still have to defend it. Well. You know the courts threw it out. So I mean, and and my attorney just was my was amazed. I, it cost me money to defend, yes. as it did I probably Anthony too. But yes. but my attorney just just less says any judge that even would hold this for one minute is crazy. It's it's there's absolutely. a lot of crazy judges. Yeah, though. but that's you know, the problem. Yeah, it's so corrupt. But it's a, it's another state. They can have jurisdiction over somebody else in another state. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With her husband Lou 
who Hilder actually mentions while Tavares is interviewing Hilder. In the that's the, the organization that we're talking about uh, involving Shelly Kane, Sherry Kane, and Lynn Horowitz. She was working amongst them, closely aligned with them. Is it a Zionazi type organization? Well, certainly, there. This is the operation wasn't done by Americans. It was done the, by those in control of uh, whatever activity the uh, these people wanted to do, and that was to knock off the uh, right wing or the uh, conservative, uh, the conservatives and uh, patriots amongst uh, amongst us, knock off the right wing or the conservatives and uh, patriots amongst us. Knock, knock off, off the, the right, right wing, wing or the, the conservatives, conservatives and the uh, patriots amongst us. us. And that would include you. Yes, uh, Lou, and, Lou and you and the entire uh, group, uh, and including Truat and company. And that's really about what I should say. Uh, I'll, I can get into the details later, but I want to talk to you about uh, Truot. You see, folks, you start getting pieces of the puzzle, and you begin to put it together, and that's exactly what we've done here. Tavares claims to be government energy weapons whistleblower and is well-positioned in the conspiracy industry where many people do promote uh, her propaganda websites. In my opinion, the evidence compiled by Sherry Kane and the audio segments you are about to hear offer compelling evidence of the COINTELPRO like operation by these agents who I believe are working for intelligence agencies and part of the problem facing all of us today. So, anyways, here is Deborah Tavares' voice introduced by Joyce Riley. Then you can compare the voice on the so-called sex tape, acting as though she is calling into a Don Nikoloff radio show, but can't get through to Nikoloff or the station engineer because supposedly Dr. Horowitz is supposedly having sex with Kane and neglected to hang up the phone. Again, and I want to emphasize... Uh, that is the website where we have uh, many of the breaking news and uh, government documents that we've just revealed in the last couple of weeks. And Compare the voice on the so-called sex tape. Hang up. Can't you hang up your telephone? I want to emphasize. I want to emphasize. I want to emphasize. Hang up. I know. Well, you haven't hung up. So the pre-conferencing is the... the Access. I know. I'm a caller who's trying to get the access code, and instead I'm hearing you talk to your friend in a not very nice manner. You listen carefully, and you make up your own mind. Is this Tavares? Or is this someone else who sounds so much like her, it could be her double? I encourage everybody to go there um, after the show or during the show as you hear what I am uh, telling you. Compare the voice on the so-called sex tape. Hey, your program is over. Why don't you hang up and let the other one start in? Your program is over. Hang up. Your program is over. Hang up and release the line. I want to emphasize. I want to emphasize. I want to emphasize. Okay, now listen to that voice again and consider its unique nasal quality. Unique voice inflections with slight southern Midwestern accent. Here is Deborah Tavares' voice introduced by Joyce Riley. Now I'm going to be talking about some very extremely disturbing realities regarding these documents, Joyce. Compare the voice on the so-called sex tape. Your program is over. Hang up. 
Your program is over. Hang up. Did you hear that? Consider the similar ages of the voices on the sex tape expressing an annoyed attitude and a more trashy mentality than Tavares reveals on Riley's program while discussing how propaganda is spun and minds are controlled by people like her and her co-producers. Choice, fear is their weapon. We've discussed that through this um, period of time that we've been talking. We must educate ourselves. Again, uh, with knowledge, we won't be as easily deceived, and this is to get out of the fear. This information that you're hearing is reality, but you've got to get into our current reality, get out of the fear. Don't let them win. They win from our fear because they get us to beg for the remedy that they will give us. And the remedy is to eliminate everything we have ever known as a society. And this is global. This is not just in the United States. The so-called sex tape. Did you get it? Your program is over. Hang up and release the line. Disconnect. You're still on the air. I can hear everything you're saying. Introduced by Riley. When I said that, when I said that, when I said that, would release the line, release the line, release the line. You're still on. Well, Don can't come on. That's right. Can't you hang up and disconnect yourselves? You'll notice the background recording of the couple suddenly drops out completely leaving Tavares, the alleged voice, alone speaking. If this was a real, spontaneous recording, I tell you, folks, you would not hear the totally silent background. Can't you hang up and disconnect yourselves? Listen to what sounds like Tavares attempting to disguise her voice using a bit of echo and reverb or other special effects to allege it is Sherry Kane saying, but Don, can't you come on? Referring to Don Nikoloff on this radio show that immediately followed Dr. Horowitz's show. Well, Don can't come on. That's right. The man's voice in the background, in my opinion, is most probably Deborah Tavares' husband, Lou, who Kane was tipped off by Anthony Hilder, whose video cites Tavares' husband, Lou, as supposedly being harassed by Kane and Horowitz. And that would include you. Yes, uh, Lou, and, Lou and you. Here it is again. Probably Lou's voice pretending to be Len Horowitz saying, Don, can't come on. Well, Don can't come on. That's right. Yeah, I'd like to speak in support of Mr. Haggerty over here when he mentioned the vote of the people. Next, big mistake. Tavares or someone else brushes up against a microphone, proving this is a studio production, not simply a coincidental recording. Can't you hang up and disconnect yourselves? Listen to that again. Finally, listen to this segment of supposedly Dr. Horowitz putting too much whipped cream in purportedly Sherry's eyes. 
and an instant later asking for Don Nikoloff's telephone number? Really? Notice that the voice does not match Dr. Horowitz. I'm Dr. Len Horowitz. I'm Dr. Len Horowitz. Not at all. The voices of the purported couple engaged in supposed sex sounded nothing like Dr. Horowitz or Sherry Kane. Hello and welcome to another segment of Hollywood Spin. I'm Sherry Kane. And I'm Dr. Len Horowitz. Bringing you this review of the film, The Dallas Buyers Club. Nothing. And at the so-called sex tape used to destroy the doctor's life, family, and companies is outrageously stupid. Unfortunately, this kind of garbage speaks to a large audience of mental midgets. And that is one of the main problems engineered by these kind of dirty tricks and trolls. And folks, I've been doing a radio show going into my seventh year soon. My ears are trained to recognize voices. I recognize callers when they call back. I've got that gift, okay? So my ears are not lying to me. Well, Don can't come on. That sounds nothing, nothing like Dr. Horowitz or Sherry Kane. But that didn't stop Ott, Nikoloff, Hilder, Studer, Miller, and Adachi from spreading this and related defamation on the internet, claiming it was Horowitz dominating Kane. But anyone who really knows Sherry knows she would be the last woman on earth to be dominated by any man. Trust me. Um, I have gone to battle with her on Facebook uh, with some of these trolls. And good luck. So, no, she's not going to be dominated by anybody. I can guarantee that. I don't call people out very often. But when I do, you can guarantee that I have either uncovered the evidence myself or somebody has provided me with the evidence which gives me the go ahead I don't care who you are nobody is too big nobody is too small if you're out there and you're getting yourself a following and you're misleading those people who are following you who are depending on you for the truth that could affect their lives each and every day and you purposely deceive them because you want to put a few more dollars in your wallet or your purse or because you want a few more hits on your YouTube video or because you want to feel self-important you could bet your butt that I'll be at your door and I will always always expose you I'm Michael Vera and this is my opinion for late night in the Midlands. Hey, your program is over. Why don't you hang up and let the other one start in? Your program is over. I'm trying not to put the tape on my face because I don't clean.